What's up, everybody? This is your boy Adrian, the web scraping guy. It's been a while, but I'm back with another video. Really need to do these more. Um, now I do actually have a web scraping course. This is, in my opinion, an amazing course, the best on web scraping. And I'm even going to put this in there as well. It's going to make it even more valuable. Um, but it's 247, but you can get a 25% discount uh, with this code right here. So, yeah, because you're watching the video. So all the YouTube people, yeah, get 25% off with that. Um, yeah, but this video, we are going to be scraping Ohio State student emails. Dun, dun, dun. And what's really interesting about this example is that they use WebSockets. So I've never scraped anything that's used WebSockets. So this was really interesting, a good challenge uh, to do. Because I'm going to show you my whole process so I was um, yeah going through this and we just want people so yeah this is the web address and we want you know I was shocked to see that they expose all the student emails and when I went over the network tab and we just went fetch XHR I would just search for Jones and then you get yeah those uh, let's search for like Abby we want to search for like the first name because there's a bunch of Jones so yeah, we have Abby. Well, this is not correct. Yeah, because this is you know Tabby Flowers JPEG. Uh, you know if we search for like AJ Jones and nothing. So I was trying to figure out where they get their data from, and then I forget what I found, but I was like, oh, it's probably a WebSocket. Yeah, I forget what I found here. Uh, fetch XHR. Oh yeah, Socket.io. So, but then I saw here, like anything in the fetch XHR, like there's nothing that returns the student emails. I couldn't find any payload that had that. So if you look at the preview of all of this, so it's just like polling, polling, whatever, but no data. So I was like, oh, how do I do that? And then just ask ChatGPT a bunch of questions, ChatGPT for the win. And yeah, figured it out with ChatGPT. So it turns out if you filter by this WS, that is WebSocket, stands for WebSocket. And you can see the WebSocket right here. And then, yeah, we see all these interesting little things here. So I didn't know what any of this meant. And now I think I have a better idea. So the green is like your payload that I'm sending the per my parameters. And then the red is going to be the actual response. So like the request is green and the response is red. So for example, if we try this again with um, uh, just HO, look for all the hoes, um, then you can see right here that the green indicates like, okay, it looks like some sort of um, you know search parameters because that's the term. And then the providers are the search topics, majors, people, and buildings. And you can see here, that the provider is buildings. You can see this in the metadata. So provider, search topics, majors, and people. So if we go down to the people and we look at the uh, payload here, boom, looks like we see everybody here. So then you can see attributes and then yeah, their email, which is crazy. And then you can see a lot of other things as well, I think. Maybe it doesn't have... Da, 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 da. Okay, doesn't have a lot of information here, but sometimes it even has their address, which is totally crazy. But yeah, exposing their emails, nuts. So then how do we uh, do this? Well, or how do we make these requests ourselves? So it's not as simple as just uh, copying as node fetch. So what we had to do, what I had to do, uh, let's get rid of this, is use since they're using socket io then we're just going to import uh we're just going to npm install that npm package and use it and so i just asked chat gpt and it spit out everything so yeah so this is the url and yeah you can see it right here that is the url and then you know whatever that's just from chat gpt you're going to use this method like socket on so on connect so it's connected and then we are going to make the request so that's this emit um, and how we got those params were again right here this message so 
I believe that I just, um, yeah, again, type this into chat GPT and let's see, term is ho and providers. Yeah. That, and apparently, you know, emit search is what this is supposed to mean. Then the results I had to play around with a little bit. Um, because originally this was socket on message, but it wasn't getting any results. So I was like, huh, I wonder, you know, I was trying to figure out what I needed to put. And then I was like, oh, well, this says results. And then this said search, as you can see up here. So I bet if I type in results that it would give me something. And this is kind of, if you're familiar with uh, GraphQL at all, this is this reminds me a little bit of GraphQL. It's like, it feels like a cousin of GraphQL. Um, yeah, so we have results and that's it. So once we have the results, we just grab the data that's in the callback and then that's it. And then here we're just mapping over all of the people. Here's the raw result. So this is for John. And then we have like tons of information. You can even see here like the room number, address, building, crazy. Sometimes they give you majors, affiliations, appointments, whatever that means. Yeah. So that's how you do it. And then you adjust, it only returns 300 at a time. You can see here that it's going to say total and max. And it gives you all 300 at once, which is really nice. So if we see, uh, yeah, right here. Okay, that's it, data. Yeah, so it gives you all 300 immediately. So then you just have to loop through different last names, uh, combinations of last names uh, to get everybody. Yeah, and that's it. So hope that's helpful. And yeah, again, pick up my course. And I'm also creating um, this thing, which is scrapecreators.com, which is social media APIs. Uh, check that out as well.